What's up, Scrollsers? It's Nerp here, and welcome back to Scrolls Top 5 Plays, the not so weekly series where I showcase 5 awesome Scrolls plays submitted by Scrollsers like you. Click the link in the description for the form to submit your own play. Without further ado, let's start the countdown. Number 5 is in a match between Schmelkior and Clever US. It is a growth player's nightmare. Shmelkior is doing his best packing his Witch Doctors and Humans in front of his remaining healthy idols. On the verge of defeat, Clever plays a Rumble, the world's greatest Rumble. After the Rumble, the bottom idol has just a Cursemonger with no adjacent Witch Doctor, which gives Clever the win with a follow-up rally. Clever couldn't bash his way through, so he just moved them over. Number 4 is in a match between Danatron 1 and Azara. Late into the range energy mirror match, Azara has won the middle of the board. It looks like Azara will have a smooth ride to victory as he protects his two damaged idols. But Danatron plays a gun automaton, machinated, machinated, and a bombard that is 12 hasted idol damage to swiftly win the game for Danatron. Azara didn't see that one coming. Number 3 is in a match between Franconi and Bartimius27. Bartimius has already destroyed two idols and he's a board full of healthy automatons. All Franconi has is a Skythorn and Brother the Wolf. Franconi enchants the brother with a pertinence, fleetness, and then casts a lingering spell, Clandestine Orchard. Now, whenever the Brother Wolf spawns a wolf, the brother's health increases because of the pertinence, and his countdown goes back to zero because of the Clandestine Orchard combined with the brother's one countdown due to the fleetness. You can see where this is going. The Horde of Wolves is topped off with a Crimson Bull, followed by a Culling the Flock, and they wreak havoc on Bertimius' board. Number 2 is in a match between Alpha Century and Computer Eater 1. Computer Eater 1 needs to find a way to win fast. He is tempo order so he won't be able to come back from a board clear at the hands of Range Energy's variety of removal. He has a Royal Skirmisher damaged to 1 health, but enchanted with Eternal Sword, and an attacking Wing Soldier. He puts another Eternal Sword on the Wing Soldier to bring it up to 5 attack, and uses a Decimation on the top row which deals 2 damage to the idol and destroys his own Skirmisher, thus making the other Eternal Sword latch onto the Wing Soldier, giving it 7 attack, just enough to finish off the last idol. What a clever play. Finally at number 1 we have Void Stalker versus once again, Franconi. Void Stalker is controlling the board with structure energy and has an ether pump ready to go off. Although he's protecting only a 2 health idol, he seems like he is in good shape. Franconi plays a Sand Pack Memorial which increases his energy by 5. You know he's up to something. He plays End of Reason to destroy his memorial and deal 2 damage to Void Stalker's row, followed by a burn on the Divinator so the forge goes down too because the Divinator was holding his last health. Franconi finishes off with a symbol of Ragged Wolf and Veteran to win the game. That'll be it. Like the video if you enjoyed and subscribe for more content. Remember to submit your own top plays and keep on scrolling scrollers.